So this this quick guide is all is going to be about conquering a white screen of death. So I'm going to quickly create trigger one by deleting a letter from a plugin. And I've got a white screen and I don't have WP debug on. We do have a quick guide about that. Please check it out. Um, but if you don't have the ability to quickly turn on WP debug and actually quit, fix the error, or if you didn't cause the error, you just know that a specific plugin is cause, causing it, a really convenient and common thing to do is to disable a plugin by renaming either its folder or a file in the plugin. The folder is a little easier. So you'll see I was white screening, but I know that the issue was with this quick guide plugin. And if I restart it, reload the page, everything is working. And if I go into the dashboard, WordPress will tell me it disabled the plugin because it couldn't find uh, the plugin that existed. So even without admin login rights, you can easily disable a plugin if you have FTP access to it. It's, it's knowledge that mostly uh, is harmless to know, but uh, it's great to know. So just to quickly note, if I changed either the folder, which is what I did here, or if I changed the file name, which WordPress is showing here, it has to be the, that file in the plugin with the plugin header at the top. Either one of those will deactivate the plugin because WordPress won't be able to find the right file. And so WordPress won't load the file and your site will be back up. So again, better solution long term is to actually fix the error and re-enable the plugin that was causing it. But if you ever have this issue, it's a really convenient thing to do. Hope that's helpful.